Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about one-step equations, and we're going to solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation, n plus 16 equals 9. Well, if I had n plus 16 equals 9, my first thing I'm thinking about is, hey, that's addition. What's the opposite of that? That's subtraction. So I'm going to subtract a 16 to both sides. Well, positive 16 minus 16 is just 0, so now I'm left with n plus 0 equals, hmm, 9 minus 16, that's tricky. I'm going to look to the number line. So 0 here, I have a positive 9. Well, if I'm subtracting 16, I'm going to go in 16 units to the left. So if I subtract, well, 9, that gets me to 0. Okay, so if I subtract 9, I get to 0, but I don't have to subtract uh, some more to get to 16. Total of subtracting 16, that'd be 7 more. So minus 7 gets me, or gets me a total here at negative 7 of a total subtraction of minus 16 units, okay? So I took 9, I subtracted 9 to get to 0. Add another a minus 7, which I added together, adds to be 16. So I subtract six, a 7 more to get to negative 7. Because negative 7 plus negative 9 is negative 16. So negative 7 here is what 9 minus 16 is. And now n plus 0 equals negative 7. Don't need that anymore, so I'm going to write it here on the side. I don't need the plus 0, so now I have n equals negative 7. That is my final answer. So let's recap. We have n plus 16 equals 9. I'm going to subtract the 16 on both sides because that's the opposite of addition. Well, 16 minus 16 is a 0. That's what I have here. I brought down the n. Now I have 9 minus 16. One of the tricks I like to do is I start with the number line here at 9. I subtracted 9 units to get to 0. I didn't do subtract 7 more units to get a total subtraction of 16 units. So our final part here is at negative 7. We ended there. So 9 minus 16 is negative 7. Don't need the plus zero because adding zero doesn't change anything. So our final answer is n equals negative seven.